All right, here's part C of uh, the second lecture, the, the intuition behind curves. And we looked at log of the y variable, the dependent variable, and leaving the horsepower the same. And this means uh, it's minus 0 0.005. Free traditional horsepower, uh, subtracting 0 0.005 from the log of a number will decrease it by 0.5%. One more horsepower, miles per gallon down point, oh, uh, sorry, 0.5 percent per horsepower, or 5 percent per 10 horsepower, 50 percent per 100 horsepower. Um, and again, you only go into this percent change when you're talking about the log. And so here, we are taking the natural log of horsepower and predicting the change of just straight up miles per gallon. And our equation was this. Now, okay, y-intercept, 80. That just means that if the log of horsepower were 0, miles per gallon would be 80. Be careful. Now, what does it mean if the log of horsepower were 0? Well, e to the x, e to the 0. So, the log is 0. What's the number? e to the 0. Well, any number to the 0 equals 1. So if the log of horsepower was zero, the horsepower of your car would be one horsepower. Then we'd predict just 80 as the miles per gallon. Kind of cool, huh? But again, we don't usually interpret it that way, uh, or we don't interpret y-intercepts at all. We're more interested in this slope. So what would the slope mean? Well, we can always start uh, interpreting slopes uh, as... If we add 1 to x, uh, then we'd uh, subtract 10 from y here, right? We just have to carefully think about what x is and what y is. Um, what is x? Well, x is the natural log of horsepower, and we're adding 1. Okay, do you remember what that meant? If I add 1 to the natural log of a number, what does that do? Well, to the original number, the horsepower. I don't care what happens when I add 1 uh, to the natural log of horsepower. Well, if you remember that uh, if we add 1 to the lo log of horsepower, that's going to add 172% roughly to the horsepower of a car, right? And... Um, that's adding a lot to the horsepower, much more than doubling it, right? The difference between a 100 horsepower car and a 272 horsepower car here uh, is phenomenal. I mean, we're talking about the difference between uh, a sports car at 272 and a real economy uh, car with 100. So, but anyway, if we add 172% to horsepower, then what's going to happen to miles per gallon? Subtract 10 from y, because y is just miles per gallon here. So um, pretty straightforward once you understand logs. So now the, the only problem with this in practice is if I went up in front of a room of people and said, if I add 172% to horsepower, then your, miles, your gas mileage will go down 10 miles per gallon, people will look at me funny. Because why 172% to horsepower, right? So um, normally what I'll do when I interpret this is rather than adding 1 to the horsepower, I'll add 0.1 to the horsepower or 0.01, right? Because um, that can make more sense. So what if we added 0.1 to the log of horsepower? Can you tell me what, what would happen to the horsepower then? Oh, right. It'll add about 10% to the horsepower. So rather than adding 1, let's add 0.1 and add 10% to the horsepower. Then rather than subtracting 10 from miles per gallon, we're adding a tenth of that, right? Instead of adding 1 to the x, we're adding 0.1, a tenth as much. So we have to subtract a tenth as much from the y. So we'd subtract 1 from miles per gallon. So here any change in x is a percentage change because that's what we took the log of. 
And any change in miles per gallon is in miles per gallon, not in percentage. Okay, now let's move on to our last possibility here. This is called the double log model, log log. Log horsepower and log uh, miles per gallon. And so each of these are going to be a percentage change. Percentage change in the X and a percentage change in the Y since they've both been logged. If we draw our line, let me just uh, draw a line here. Uh, insert a line and very quickly find the uh, equation of that line. All right, let's just say that looks like a good line to me. And let's say that equation to me looks like it's um, the natural log of miles per gallon equals, looks like about 6 minus, and a couple of points here uh, to find the, um, the slope. Uh, this one, 0 and 6. And let's see, 5 and 3 here. So we're going down 3 and we're going over 5. So down 3 over 5, um, that's um, 0.6, right? So minus 0 0.6 times the natural log of horsepower. So we've got to be careful here. Um, I'm not going to bother in interpreting the uh, y-intercept here of 6. Uh, we just don't do that much. You can do that on your own. But um, the slope here minus 0.6. Again, let's, let's just get started with the basics. Um, if we add 1 to the x, add 1 to log of horsepower. OK, that's adding 172% to horsepower, as we know before. Then we'd subtract 6, sorry, 0.6. Oh. Uh, we'd subtract 0.6 from the log of miles per gallon. What happens when you subtract 6.6 .6 from the log of a number? Let's go back to Excel here real quickly. Um, e to the b minus 1, remember, equals exp of minus 0.6 minus 1. If I subtract 0.6 from the log of a number, I'm going to decrease the original number by 45%, 0.45, negative. So uh, to interpret this, we could say, again, this is troublesome. We'll, we'll make this easier uh, or more straightforward. If I add 1 to horsepower, I'm adding 172%. And then what am I going to do? I'm going to subtract 0.6 from the log of miles per gallon, which subtracts 45%. So um, then um, miles per gallon will go down by 45%. We have both percent changes here, percent change, percent change, because um, they're both log variables. And to change a log variable, you're changing it by a proportion or a percentage, right? Now, this is a little, it, it's true, it, it works. What we're saying here is valid, but let me give you an easier way. Um, rather than changing horsepower by 1, let's change it by 0.1, right? Or even better, let's change it by 0.01. This is the, the standard way that we'll usually interpret this. Now, let's just take it step by step. If I add 0.01 to the log of horsepower, what am I going to do? I'm going to add 1% to the horsepower, okay? Add 0.01 rather than 1. Add 1% roughly. Okay. Now, if I do that, what does this model say? Uh, if, if I change this horsepower by 0.01, I've got to multiply this 0.6 by 0.01. What's that going to turn into? 0 0.006. Well, remember what we had over here, 0 0.005? What happens when you subtract 0 0.005 from the log of miles per gallon? It went down 0.5%. In this model, we can interpret this this way. If we add 1% to horsepower, then miles per gallon will drop by 0 0.6%. This is the easiest way to interpret a log-log model. It's what we call an elasticity in economics and also engineering. Uh, they talk about elasticities. 
That way you can just directly look at this 0.6 number. This only works in a log log model. And interpret it as for a 1% change in horsepower, miles per gallon will go down by 0.6%. And then it's 1% to the x variable horsepower and down 0.6% to the dependent variable that we care about, which is miles per gallon. Now I'll show you um, a way to do this with polynomials in part C.